everybody to another episode of Movie Social. We are your hosts, Ricky and Stefan. Hello, good people. On today's episode, we're going to be doing a spoiler review of Netflix's Fatal Affair, starring Nia Long and Omar Epps. Well, where to start off with that? Wait, let's not start off with that first. Let's start off with, if you like this channel, subscribe. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Turn those post notifications on. Let us know what you guys thought about the movie that we're reviewing and channel in the comments below. And on to uh, Fatal Affair. Let's just say the movie was fatal. So before, <sighs> before you get into anything, Rick, I'm going to just say this. And then it, it's just, this is just going to basically be the whole premise, right? And this literally is going to be like literally the whole premise of the movie. Guy sees a woman that he has liked for forever. Does some backward stuff to actually get close to her. She's having a little bit of relationship problems. They have a little night at, at, the, at the bar and outside. They almost... I want you to understand this part the most. They almost... Can't stress this enough. Almost have sexual intercourse. They didn't have sexual intercourse. It wasn't like a couple strokes you need to stop. It was... Almost. I mean, but he, that's the problem. He, Almost was close enough. He kissed on her neck and her lips. On her lips took her off. panties off. She mm. said, I can't do this. Then he becomes, you know, he, then he reveals mm. his crazy self. As uh, Jada would say, they still had an entanglement either way. Bruh, he didn't get none. <laughs> they had an entanglement. No, an entanglement means you're getting some. I don't know. I'm, I'm just going he off what Jada said. It's didn't I don't know get any. And he was still crazy. I mean, he already was crazy from the beginning. But yeah, See, but that's I mean, the problem. He was obsessed with her from college. Yeah. To start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And yeah, so that, sure. that was already it for him there. See, the part where it became a no-no situation, it's not the fact that they almost, it's the fact that she entertained the idea and enticed the well, of situation course. from of the beginning. Knowing... That she used to like him. He used to like her. I don't her. think, no, no, no. No, because remember, she said she thought he was going to ask her out. I think that was just talk. Nah, that wasn't talk. That was flirting. Yeah, but what's just talk? I mean, there's sometimes when you flirt, you just talk. No, and then on top of that, you throw out that you, uh, t that the husband that you live with, you feel like you're a stranger with him. Yeah, yeah you're just yeah. basically opening that door, so... That's yeah. what she did. She opened that door. She did, but... So it was more than just a almost... Ain't no taste. It don't matter. I have never. You forget, 30... he's also mentally unstable. That's true. But, like, I have never, in my 30 years of life, have never acted that crazy after a taste or before even getting a taste. Listen, I'm just saying this. When you're mentally unstable, you do things. Yeah, that's true. That most people... With considering wow, there's do. a couple of things that I had issues with the movie. But there was a lot of holes in this movie. Too. Yeah, and then the one of the things that I didn't like about this movie is her whole friend being stupid. That that was that was annoying me to begin with. All right, first of all, he tells you this: you immediately going to believe him over somebody that you know for the longest, and not even giving her the benefit of the doubt, or the fact that she literally said that he's a world-renowned hacker. Mm -hmm. The fact that you're a hacker doesn't. Bring up the idea, oh, well, uh, maybe he did fix, switch all this around. Especially after she tried to tell you that when you confronted her. But you didn't even want to hear nothing she had to say. Nope. And it took all the way to the... And it's about the end. Yeah. But now, this is another part that got me with her. Once she finally told her that she sees all this proof in the phone, you grab his phone and walk away from the food with the phone and start looking through it. I'm like, first of all, one... If you're going to look at somebody's phone, leave it right where you found it at. You could have looked at it with your back turned to him while looking at, pretending like you're messing with the food at the same time. So if he came in, you could flip back over. No. Yeah. She out there in the open with it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, uh, was, was dope. he just sitting right there. I, you can't feel somebody creeping up on you. And that's another thing in this movie. The daughter in the house. You can't feel somebody staring at you this whole time. You don't know how to sense stuff. Some people don't, man. Some people's sense of surroundings is terrible. Oh, I know. Because you can see the incidents that happen in everyday life. 
Yeah. But there was a lot of missing in this show. One, we needed more of what happened with the husband to cause them to have this little worth. Like, they didn't really divulge into what happened. Yeah. To make her this desperate for some attention. And I really didn't like the role that they had Nia Long playing. I don't like the role they had Omar Epps playing. Right? Not, I like Omar Epps. Now, to me also, Omar, you put look like you're putting on a little bit of extra weight in the face, too. I mean, he's You're not older. looking like Mike, T uh, Mike Tomlin's twin anymore. <laughs> he's getting a little juicy. I mean, listen, that's what quarantine do to people. Even I mean, though this was recorded for <laughs> quarantine, but you get my point. He's getting older. Yeah, but as a whole, nah, the roles weren't the fitting for those characters. Yeah. And to me, it, it felt like a cheesy, low-budget movie. Now, that's not to say a lot of low-budgets aren't good, because there's been a ton of low-budget films yeah, that have been very successful. talking about some earlier, too. So yeah. yeah. But this was just like, it felt it felt rushed. Very it did rushed. feel rushed. I'm not going to say it was cheesy, because it wasn't, the production wasn't bad. No, I, as far as, when I say cheesy, I mean, as far as the script felt, like it was just rushed. All right, let's play this person to quickly write up a script. Gotcha. Auto-generated type of script type of thing. And then some of the cut scenes were kind of like, really? Y'all could have did a better job of cutting to this next part of the movie. And then y'all, it's like they cut out so much probably from this movie as well. The fact that they had Omar Epps as the bad guy really did me dirty. Did me in. Like, it just did me in. And I just want to know, what self-respecting husband is going to get his ass kicked the way he did? Like, you getting tossed over the balcony, getting punched, beat up like that, when you know it's you and your wife's life on the line. Not only that, the man already has been stabbed. He's wounded. Go after his wound. So, here's another thing. And you about to get choked out. Here's another thing that blew my mind, right? Mm -hmm. How did he kill a cop? That's for the people who didn't hear me. How did he kill the cop? The reason why I say that is because of this. To stab someone in the neck, you have to be... This close. I know. Now, see, this is the only thing, only scenario I can see. The cop starts to open up the door. Once he opens up the door, side mirror, you can't see the side from the side mirror okay. at all. He sneaks up right on behind him as the cop, right before the cop's getting out and slices the throat that way. Okay. I mean, of course, it's a movie. So, yeah. I mean, you that like part was suspicious. I but I mean. It wasn't a 2020 cop. Yes. <clears throat> It was not Knowles, wannabe cop. It was a true cop. <laughs> uh, but the detective, though, she at least, she was about the only character that was cool because when they first said, when she caught, when Neil Long called her and said that he's not dead, she didn't question it, none of that. She went right into action. Yeah, most, most times you get it, how? We, we uh, did the check and all. No, on the DNA. Just like what the come back yet. Um, Invisible Man. Yeah. Invisible Man. They were questioning her, calling her crazy mm -hmm. and all this other stuff. No. She jumped. And that was another thing that made me mad. I'm not assuming that anybody's dead or anything just because I see his clothes and the note there and the body's burnt all up. Until I get conclusive DNA evidence, I'm not ruling anything. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying nothing to the media, nothing. So... And that was another part. That was really another part that really pissed me off. You know what also hurt my soul? Why did you do it to a homeless man? He wasn't hurting yeah. nobody. Jesus Christ. He's meant to, though. Mental people do crazy things oh, sometimes. The, the, the whole homeless guy wasn't doing nothing to nobody. But I don't get what was up with his, uh, the therapist for uh, his character. Uh, you really couldn't see signs of anything going on to allude that he was back off his rockers. Yeah. Because first of all, his first wife, when it started off, was supposed to look like me alone. Didn't look like her. At no, all. It didn't. no. But that's who would they tried to portray it as looking just like her. But who I knows? Mean, she probably was looking better. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but I don't know. You guys, let us know what you guys thought in the comments below. Until next time. Peace. I don't know. I don't know.